Hi, um, I'm Miss Gleason, um, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my class. I am the seventh grade learning support reading teacher. Uh, for the past two years, I was the sixth grade math support teacher, but I'm excited to make the transition to seventh grade reading. Um, this is just a little bit about me. This is my 15th year teaching in the Philadelphia School District. This is my third year at Baldy. Um, I graduated from LaSalle University undergrad, and I went to Holy Family um, Graduate School for um, my graduate in uh, special education. And I grew up in Bustleton. Um, these are just some pictures of my family, just so you can get to know a little bit about me. Um, these are my twin boys, William and Connor, and they're three and a half. There they are on their first day of school, getting ready to go to school. Um, okay, so this year we are going to um, be implementing digital learning plans. Um, so this digital learning plan, um, it still means that the IEP is still into place, but uh, the digital learning plan discusses how services will look in this digital environment. Um, we will be having a team meeting, um, and at the team, team meeting, we'll discuss your child's goals, and we will um, talk about the services that your child will be, be receiving. Um, our goal for all this is to make sure that we are providing special education and related services identified in your child's IEP to the greatest extent possible. Um, regular education teachers will receive a copy of this, um, and they did already receive a copy at the IEP at a glance. So that way they know what kind of accommodations and modifications that your child needs. Um, in a push-out group, um, so maybe it's a small group instruction group, uh, your child will come to my Google Classroom. It's a link um, in our Google Classroom. Um, during this, they will receive pull-out services um, based on their individual reading goals. Um, there's fluency, comprehension, and writing. Um, we'll also be work doing on quick reads, and our reading intervention that we'll be working with is corrective reading. Um, every two weeks, we will receive progress monitoring, and I'll go um, a little more in depth on that later. Um, what is a pushing group? A pushing group um, is for students that receive in-class support. Um, so what I actually do is for a half an hour, which is half the class, half the live class, I push into that classroom and kind of just support them. Um, how can I do that? I can do that through their assignments and write um, comments um, to them and they can write comments back to me. Um, during flex time, they can email, they can write in my Google Classroom, they can set up Google Meets for me if there's any questions or concerns about anything, and they still do receive progress monitoring every two weeks based on their goals. Grades. So grades is a combination of the regular education class and the pullout class. Um, so pullout groups will be given one assignment a week, um, and it's all classwork. It's stuff we complete in class, um, and then they turn it in on Friday after our class. Also, um, in a few weeks, we're going to really be starting Achieve 3000, so they will get a grade based on that, um, and that should be done at least every 15 minutes um, at flex time. Okay, so this is more just what progress monitoring and testing looks like. So every two weeks, um, I'll be taking fluency and comprehension. Um, they'll, your child will be receiving fluency and comprehension probes um, based on their instructional level. So it's the level that they tested at when they were given their IEP. Um, so there's an oral reading fluency probe where they read for one minute, and then there's a reading um, comprehension tool where they answer multiple choice questions and they answer um, open-ended questions. Um, also, when uh, they'll, they will be taking an Ames Web reading assessment, and that's on a seventh grade level because they're in seventh grade, and they take it in the fall, winter, and spring. Um, basically, it just wants to see how they're doing with the seventh grade curriculum and if they're making progress. Um, lastly, they'll be taking, it's called a RAT test. Um, it's a wide range assessment test and it's done online. And this is always given before a reevaluation or an IEP just for a reading level. Okay, these are just some classroom expectations that I shared with my students at the beginning of the school year I'm gonna share with you. Um, just make sure that they're on time. We only have 30 minutes together, so it's really important they're on time. They have to treat everyone with respect. Um, they have to listen and ask questions. Um, I do encourage them to put their camera on. Um, I do want them to try their best and to reach for their goals. Uh, if you need me, you can communicate through Google Class um, or email at cmslowey at uh, .org. Lastly, this is just my welcome letter um, if you did not get to see it. And I'm just really excited to be working with everyone this school year. Please reach out with any questions or concerns.